Let's translate John 11 verses 25 through 26. Ipen of T O Jesus. Ego e mi, e Anastasis, ke e Zoe. O pistevon is eme, can apothani, zisete. Ke pas o zon, ke pistevon is eme, umi apothani, is ton eona. Pistevis tuto? He said to her, Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me certainly will not die in eternity. Do you believe this? Our subject is O Jesus. Jesus said to her. So, so and again, we have an I am statement. It's a quote from Exodus chapter 3. I am, ego in me. This is the equivalent of saying I'm God. I'm Yahweh. I am the resurrection and the life. Give it a little more separation here. The one who believes in me. And the main verb is zisate. The one who believes in me will live. And then we have a comparison here. Even though he dies. Then verse 26, and everyone who lives and believes in me. will certainly not die in eternity. And then we have our question at the end. Do you believe this? So Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will certainly not die in eternity. Do you believe this? So just to be clear, Ipen is from Lego. It's one of those interesting irregular verbs. It looks nothing like uh, <laughs> itself in, in the different tense. He said to her, so Jesus is the subject. We have our ego and me, Anastasis. Uh, this is from anastimi, so to rise, to raise, and in this case as a noun, it's resurrection, resurrection from the dead. And then we have zoe, it can mean physical life, but also transcendent life, which appears to be the case here. The one who believes, now belief is interesting because pistevo uh, can mean trust, faith, belief, but it really bears the idea of entrusting, entrusting oneself, entrusting oneself to an entity. So we translate it believe in, but it really bears this idea of I'm entrusting my life with you. This implies total commitment. To entrust oneself to an entity in complete confidence. Implication of total commitment to the one who's trusted in. And with respect to God and Christ, that means to have faith in them, relying on their power and their help. Where is marks the one in whom you are trusting. So in this case, it's Jesus, the one who trusts in me. Con 
is crassus. It's joining K with Aeon, so it's and, if, but it's translated even if in this case, or even though. So it bears the weight of third class condition here because we have Aeon plus subjunctive, which we've seen before is either a general condition, a, a generic condition, if A then B, simple, simple condition, or it's future more probable, which seems to be the case here because we have a future tense main verb, plus everybody dies. So it's likely in the future, it's more probable in the future, you're gonna die. So because of those two factors here, I'm gonna translate this along the lines of future tense. So the one who believes in me, even though he dies, will live. Even though he dies, will live. Instead of saying, even though he might die. Now, we don't need to say, even though he will die. But it, it has this idea of future more probable. In the future, it's more probable you're going to die. But you don't have to translate it, will die. Especially since we have a future main verb anyways that already bears the, the will, the future sense. Uh, pos meaning every, each, all. In this case, it's singular. So we're going to say every, every one. Every one who lives, zao. Uh, this is the verb cognate to zoe. And uh, everyone who lives and everyone who believes in me, umi. We've seen this before. Umi is umi with the subjunctive is a very, very strong, emphatic never. So instead of saying not, not, never, or certainly not. Everyone who lives and believes in me will certainly not die. So here we have Apothani again. We had it up here because there's no other uh, main verb here. We're going to translate it like we do the zisate, will. So will never die. Will certainly not die. And again, that's because we're dealing with the subjunctive. Okay, you could translate it super literal here. And everyone who lives and believes in me uh, might certainly not die in the age or in eternity. But it just doesn't make sense since it's running parallel to Zisate here. So I'm going to translate it, everyone who lives and believes in me will certainly not die in eternity. Now, in eternity, you don't need to translate. Uh, you can see here per BDAG, it means along the lines of eternity. But note this right here. In Johannine usage, the term is used formulaically without emphasis on eternity. So instead of, of translating with eternity here, in various Johannine usage, it's never again thirst, never see death, never be lost. Okay. Where, uh, or in 13.8, never means by no means. So it could be super duper emphatic here. Umi easton eonon will certainly by no means die. Or we could just simplify it in English, will never die. And then we have our phrase, pistevis tuto. It's a question. You can see the semicolon. So in our uh, modern Greek construction that we use in terms of uh, marking commas and punctuation, questions are marked with a semicolon. So in the original manuscripts, this was not the case. These were added later. But we know this is a question. Pistevis tuto. And so for our translation, 
Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? If you liked this video, hit the like button, brush up on your Greek and Hebrew, and we'll see you next week.